this is one of the most beautiful things about getting into a brand new year is that we get into brand new things and what I love most is when we are coming out of January heading on into February and we get to celebrate these things so I'm talking about the Pantone color of the year my friend peach fuzz was named as it for 2024 and I genuinely feel like when we talk about colors if you put anything peach near me or with me or on me it, I'm just I'm such a happy person and I don't want to get this wrong right they've apparently described this specific color as being a velvety gentle peach tone who's all embracing spirit embraces the mind body and soul which sounds so delicious to me and this is the thing we're not just breaking this down no no we have someone who is actually qualified to do so so you don't have to just worry about my opinion now we have got one of the most incredible interior designers in Johannesburg who has done some of the most amazing works all throughout the years I am talking about Rita Pike everyone let's welcome her to the show Rita how are you Good, thank you. I am amazing, thank you. Rita, speak to us about this color. Is this something that, you know, for you, you're like, yes, this is most definitely a color of the year, something that stands out? It is my favorite color. Oh. It has always been. Yes. Um, if you look at the sunset every night, mm -hmm. when yellow becomes orange, yeah. that is the tones. And I love to bring the evening into my home. Yes. I like to put my home to bed. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yes. And put on all the bright lights, mm -hmm. put on lamps. Mm -hmm. And that is basically your tones. And it is, to me, it is so rejuvenating. He also said mm -hmm. that it's because of the times that we're living in after COVID Indeed. and continue to live in that this is such an important colour. And yeah. you know, every colour has a wavelength and it's rejuvenating. Yeah. So you rest. I think it's a good time for everybody to declutter, yeah. organise their lives. Mm. And you know what? If you get up in the mornings again, then this colour you see again because the orange then becomes the softly yellow, yellow and oh. you see this beautiful peachy tone so it's also restoration oh wow you are, this is why you are an interior designer my lovely you find the messages in absolutely everything i love that <laughs> but Krita, yeah. speak to us about your work before we delve on into this color some more peach fuzz because we have a lot to get into it about i want to know what are some of the greatest memories and fondest memories that you have in terms of being an interior designer my best memory mm -hmm is the fact that I had dreams as a young girl. Yeah. I used to sit in my school hostel room mm. and I didn't be, buy sweets. I bought, bought the Roy Roese every two weeks. Yeah. And I would cut out pictures oh. of decor, yes. food as well. And I had a scrapbook. And you know, if you dream, mm. you push when the opportunity comes. Yeah. And I can really witness that I bought old houses mm. on no budget. I gutted it, I renovated it. I had the most stunning people buying my places. I met Elon Musk because of that. Okay, His girl. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> yes. was, she, her budget was as bad as mine. Oh, he And did. she said to me, please just do a makeover in my house. Oh. You know, so we decluttered, we put newspapers double page newspapers to be able to walk and just used whatever she had in the house yeah because she was a single mom mom and you know i didn't even know how to spell computer at that time <laughs> yeah and he was building these computer games yeah but it was such a blessing being in the house and using what she had. Yes. Rita, you must tell everyone you're Elon Musk's best friend. Don't I'm listen not. to them. I know, just tell them, don't worry. Just like, you know. Yeah, yeah. But Rita, I mean, I feel like with you saying people invite you into their homes and they say, please make this work. Yeah. What's been a color for you where somebody said, please make it work and it was terrible, but you had to do the best that you could? Oh my word. Yellow painted walls uh -huh. and a red couch that was brand new. <laughs> yes. And 
There's nothing wrong with yellow and red. It's just not my favorite color. I get that. <laughs> and I get just having to mix them together. But let's go back now to the color of the year. I mean, 2024, like you said, the CEO of the Pantone he said that this is something that is just such a huge way to look at when we are living in the times that we do. And this color speaks to exactly that. But now, if I'm looking at this color, how can I incorporate it into my home and incorporate it into my space even when we look at peach fuzz? One must be very careful with color. Okay. There's a rule and everybody follows it and it doesn't work for people. Mm. The rule is 60%, 30% and 10%. Okay. In this case, 10% in your room because, you know, you can't every year change mm -hmm. your color scheme. Mm. So I would work with the pitch as an accent, but one must be so careful because the reason why so many homes doesn't have this personality, it's cold, it's cool, yeah. it's just too neutral, is because people don't use contrast. Mm -hmm. It's very good to contrast um, cool colors with warm colors. Oh, okay. Or also to, to get a paint chart, maybe at Boulder's Warehouse, then you look at the paint chart, What's the colors next to it? I the like that. The biggest sin mm. is to mix and match, and everything must match, and everything must be the same tone. You get such a flat interior. Yes. You must always use dark versus light. And this is why the yellow and the red made you very angry, because it was just clashing everywhere. Yeah, to me it's clash, yes. but it's my personality. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. One last thing I want to ask you, please, my Rita, is just to anyone out there who wants to use this color, what do you say to them in terms of just allowing themselves to be bold? I think that they must use it because it's a trendy color. Mm. I think they must use it in living areas. Yes. Use it in the kitchen. Use it in the dining room, use it in the living room. Yeah. Um, at night when you switch on your lamps, please put out all bright lights. Mm. Have a lampshade that picks it up. You know, oh, you nice. get lampshades all over the show, very reasonable. Look at scatter cushions and you know, you must always when you, when you have a scatter cushion, yes. you must always hit it so that it... <laughs> <laughs> we are looks... beating our scatter cushions, yes. <laughs> yeah. So you basically beat your scatter, but use shades of, you know, of, yes. of peach. Of peach, and like that. To, com to combine it with candlelight, to combine it with a fire in the fireplace. And just those nice tones of that peachy vibe. Yeah, beautiful serviettes. Yes. You don't have to have more than 8%. I love that. And I love your work, Krita. I mean, having worked with Elon Musk and his family, I, we are very lucky to have you. Thank you so much for coming through. Pleasure. Her name is Krita Pike and she is an interior designer, one of the people who is doing the most in that industry in Johannesburg and beyond. But it is, of course, all in the name of celebrating the Pantone color of the year peach fuzz for now though my beautiful peach fuzz the beautiful Zoe she's standing by in the lounge